With that, let me introduce Dr. Helene Calve, who is the health officer for Long Beach. Thank you, Dr. Fielding. My name is Helene Calve. I'm the health officer for the city of Long Beach. My name is spelled H-E-L-E-N-E-C-A-L-V-E-T. The Long Beach Department of Health and Human Services started our H1N1 vaccination clinics on November 4th. Since that time, we've held three after-school clinics, which have been limited to school-aged children, and two large community clinics, which were open to anyone in the initial target groups. In these five clinics, we vaccinated over 10,000 people, two-thirds of whom were between the ages of 2 and 18 years old. These successful clinics would not have been possible without the hard work of our own staff, the cooperation and assistance of our partners at Long Beach Unified School District, and the help of volunteers from Cal State Long Beach, the American Red Cross Greater Long Beach Chapter, and our Long Beach Medical Reserve Corps. We will hold a final clinic for school-aged children this evening at Polytechnic High School in Long Beach, and our final community clinic will take place this Saturday at Long Beach City College, Liberal Arts Campus, located at 4901 East Carson Street, and that will take place from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. This final clinic will be co-sponsored by L.A. County. This clinic, as well as 11 other clinics currently scheduled between December 4th and 8th, will be a joint effort of all three public health departments in L.A. County, and it will present a unified approach to the end of this first phase of vaccination. As Dr. Fielding and Dr. Wada mentioned, vaccine is becoming more available in the community. So in Long Beach, we will also be shifting our efforts to just ensuring that our private providers can get as much vaccine as possible. And we will be offering vaccine through our own health department to people in the initial target groups as vaccine supplies allowed. This will be targeted to those who are uninsured or who have no medical home. Details of how this vaccine will be made available will be forthcoming soon. Despite the increasing availability of vaccine, however, there is still a critical shortage of pediatric preservative-free vaccine. So providers and parents should be aware of the exemption to the California Mercury-Free Vaccine Act, which has recently been extended through September 2010. As Dr. Fielding and Dr. Wada mentioned, it appears that flu activity is leveling off or decreasing, but that does not mean that we're over. There are still many people at risk. As Dr. Wada mentioned, over 350 people in California have died from complications of H1N1. The vast majority of these individuals have had underlying medical conditions, such as diabetes, lung conditions, heart conditions, or a weakened immune system. Therefore, it's still very important if you are in one of these initial target groups or one of these priority groups that Dr. Fielding mentioned, that you still go and get the vaccine. Put vaccine at the top of your holiday shopping list. The price is right, it's free. So please protect yourself, protect others in your family by getting vaccinated, and take the opportunity to come to one of these uh, final community clinics to be vaccinated or contact your physician. Finally, although vaccination is an important tool in the effort to control influenza, it is critical that we all continue to practice the uh, preventive measures of washing our hands frequently, covering our coughs and sneezes, and staying home when we are sick so that we will not pass the flu on to others. Thank you.